Hi students, this is the upper limb. Here we are going to see the extensor compartment of the forearm. First the superficial muscles, then we have to see the deep muscles. Before going into the details, you just have a look. This is thumb. So this is the radial aspect. So you have to go here and catch hold of the three muscles. Number one, number two, number three. Three muscles and then put your forceps like this. And then check whether you are holding three muscles. Number one is your brachioradialis. Number two is your extensor carpi radialis longus. Number three is your extensor carpi radialis brevis. This is how you are supposed to identify the superficial muscles. So three superficial muscles you have read. Then next one is you just go here and see this fan shaped muscle. This is your anconius. This is the anconius muscle. It is present here. So four. And then go down. This is your extensor digitorum you can see the digits okay the tendons go into the digits this is extensor digitorum the next small tiny one is extensor digiti minimi and the last one is extensor carpi ulnaris so we have identified all the superficial muscles so first what you are supposed to do look at the thumb radial side and then put your forceps catch hold of the three tendons and then put your forceps like this and then start identifying this as Number one, anconius. Number two is brachioradialis. Number three is extensor carpi radialis longus since it has long tendon. And then fourth one is extensor carpi radialis brevis. And then extensor digitorum, digiti minimi, and ulnaris. This is how you have to identify. Then we will move on to the deep muscles. Deep muscles just retract this. If you retract this, you can see nicely from the radius, you can see the muscle outgrouping muscles first. This first outgrouping muscle is abductor pollicis longus. Second muscle is extensor pollicis brevis. And the third one is extensor pollicis longus. Look at this, it is going to the pollux. Okay, extensor pollicis longus. And the fourth one is extensor indices. This is how you have to identify. Just retract this digitorum. You can see nicely all the four muscles. One, two, three and four. Abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus and extensor indices. Then go up and show them the supinator. So supinator is deeply placed. So five deep muscles also we have shown. Then you come here. This is the extensor retinaculum. Extensor retinaculum. Now there are five six compartments. First compartment again this outgrouping muscles in the first compartment two muscles abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and the second these two over second is the long tendons coming from here extensor car carpi radialis longus and brevis in the second and the third one extensor pollicis longus in the third compartment fourth compartment you have the extensor digitorum and indices nicely seen if you retract inside you could see the um, posterior interosseous nerve and anterior interosseous artery inside and these are the fourth compartment contents and the fifth compartment digiti minimi and the sixth compartment you have the ulnaris so this is how you have to identify the extensor retinaculum and the next important uh, spot here is look at this this is the thumb and here you see this is the snuff box the anatomical snuff box boundaries anteriorly you have the extensor pollicis longus look at this the pollicis longus is coming from here so this forms the anterior boundary extensor pollicis longus you can see now if i pull it is also moving extensor pollicis longus and the next one here these two are the posterior boundaries this is the, formed by the outgrouping muscles abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis so anterior boundary is extensor pollicis longus coming from here and the posterior boundary is by the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis the outgrouping muscles and the roof is formed by skin superficial fascia and nicely you can see one now here that is your superficial branch of radial nerve is found here along with the cephalic vein cephalic vein is cut over here and the next thing is content content if you go near you could see nicely you can see the radial artery you can see now this is the content so radial artery is present inside the anatomical stock box and the floor is formed by the scaphoid bone trapezium and uh, these two bones they form the floor and the most important content of anatomical stock box is your radial artery right and uh, the boundaries will be asked uh, in mcq so this is anatomical stock box this is superficial branch of radial nerve it forms uh, it lies in the roof of the anatomical stock box along with the cephalic vein these two are mcqs and then 
that's all about the extensor compartment and uh, the supinator is pierced by the deep branch of radial nerve after piercing that it becomes a posterior interosseous nerve this supplies all the muscles present in the deep muscles all the muscles present here in the extensor compartment that's all about the extensor compartment